And you know what PJ Fleck had to say about it? He said, Cole is going to get a real nice wedding gift from me. Typically doesn't have two quarterbacks. And Bazelak throwing on the first play of the game, and it's complete to O.D. both, including the run game. Here's Bazelak in the run game, and on the pitch, he sends it down the sideline with Jamal Johnson for a first down. After the gain of 17, back-to-back -back first downs for Bazelak and the Falcons. His second throw, he's taking a shot. He's got Hilaire! And Odu Hilaire with a touchdown! Yes. He's become more of an underneath and intermediate threat. Strike first. The deep throw to Hilaire. Hilaire gets so wide open in this. It's a cover two. And the safety just bites up. And on the outside, you've got no, no help. Beats the corner. And on his first play from scrimmage, a toss to Darius Taylor, who's back in Detroit. A break. And Kramer pitches it out for his first pass. And out to Daniel Jackson through a couple of tackles. And they're going to have a big third down. And again, this is a very talented bowling green. The most feared pass rusher in the Mid-American Conference. And inside to Kramer, but he gets it away to Taylor, who has a first down. There. And inside to Kramer, but he gets it away to Taylor, who has a first down. Kramer off of the play fake. Over the middle and incomplete through the hands of Jackson. Blitz off the right side. And it's when he goes low. I mean, he was there a little late. You cannot go low like that on the quarterback. And certainly pretty for this gopher offense. They only have one true quarterback behind him. Guys transferring out. Here's Taylor, a powerful physical runner upended inside. Up here. Off the edge, he gets it out, and that'll be short of the first down. Jalen Burton at corner made the stop. Again, the pressure comes from Ferguson off the right side, the nickel. Next to Cole Kramer, Darius Taylor with eight touches on this opening drive. On a fourth down, it's Taylor again. He has the first down, bursting through the line. Minnesota trying to answer the opening score with Kramer, and he's dragged down in the backfield. Joseph Sip back. Coming to your screen, just fights around the block, sees Kramer take off. He's out near the slot on a third and goal. Kramer to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Elijah Spencer has the Gophers on the board. of a bunch set working against 18 Jalen Burton there. Jalen corners are out. Uh oh look out here. Kesich the kicker takes snap and Kesich looking to throw and he jumps for the goal line. Is he in? No they mark him down. I think I think he got one of those cheeks down right at the one yard line and the ball. Spencer. Nice, no good. A nice throw there. Little huddle. Typically, teams don't ever attempt these. Watch the, the tailbone gets mm. down. The ball's just a little bit short of the goal line. The official's right on it. His tailbone hits down. It looked like from, from this angle, the ball might have been across, but without the angle down the line, it's hard to say. You see the official right there. So it's the star of last year's bowl game, Coleman Bryson and Kerry Brown getting a shot at those safety spots. Well, Bryson. Uh, Bazelak up there quick, handing off around the edge to Embry, and that's a first down. Uh, Bazelak drills it into Hilaire, who scored the touchdown earlier, making moves on Bryson. And the quick feed of Hilaire. And the quarterback. He's been at Missouri, he's been at Indiana. Off of the play fake. Bazelak a little bit off target. Hilaire. Up. On a third down, Bazelak goes underneath, and another completion. He's got Fatai Ibrahim for a first down. A few plays ago, the first incompletion in this game, the one he tried to hit Hilaire on. More play action. Bazelak throwing the other way, and over the head. Now that Players who are you know, maybe playing for the first time, you're finally getting some guys back that are healthy. And creative with the motion on Embry, and they come underneath. And that is stuck. Tyler Stolsky. He was in pass protection. Fannin in protecting Bazelak, who gets it away, and it floats out of bounds. 
BG. Minnesota brings pressure. It's picked up, and Baselak over the top, incomplete for Hilaire. White. Spencer came in motion. He had the touchdown in the first drive, and he is popped. Patch. Really nice job here on the outside by Day. We'll get more into that. Orth loses the ball on his first drive at quarterback. Orth lost the oh. ball. Kramer away from pressure. And Kramer, this is what he's done most of his career as a Wildcat quarterback with no fear into the second level. Touchdown run, by the way, two years ago against Bowling Green. I think Katie Miller is fiance watching that. That's better. Maybe a little play action bootleg. It is play action. Kramer back to the end zone, and that is incomplete with two guys down in the turf. Daniel yeah. J. Watch nine right here. A uh, little contact. Yeah, a little contact. Big third down here. And Kramer to the back of the end zone, incomplete. So it's likely feeding on the. And Kessich hugs it in there. Now two away from the all-time record in the single season. Hasn't been the case with the Falcons this year. Bazelak back on the field, firing to Hilaire, who makes the adjustment. He is just goes up and just mosses this thing. Give me that pill. John Joyner, one of the most disruptive players in the Big Ten, is home for a sack. Kevin, thank you. Talking college football playoff, Bowling Green and Minnesota both played a common opponent in the college football playoff, Michigan. 75-yard touchdown drive on their opening touch. Since then, they don't even have 75 yards in their last three drives. Bazelak rolling out. Smith lost his helmet in pursuit. And that was caught along the side. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. Ruling in the field of a catch is on the first. Abdul Fatah. Yeah, the look from behind the play, you'll see him step out before he comes back. The Collins defense showing a little pressure. They backed out of it, and through coverage, that's knocked out. Dig route. It's one of their top weapons. And a really good job by Brian, just knifing through strip. Ball rolled up underneath him after Brian came in and clubbed it out. That may have hit him in a bad spot there, if you know what I'm saying. And that was no small thing that he just did against that player, Harold no, Fanta. I mean, that's a big... Well, off play action. Howell got there at the end, and that hangs up, and it's picked off. They come the other way with Darius Lorfils. And Lorfils are the biggest play of this game on defense for Bowling Green. Just absolutely blast Cole Kramer. The ball's up in the air. Picked off for the 28th takeaway of the season for the Bowling Green Falcons. And now sets him up with a great top of your screen. Now they pump it out to him, and that has no chance. Snowed under, Kerry Brown and Trayvon Jones all over it. It was Jones that got off that block. Fannin just takes a couple shots here, back-to-back -back plays. And now if you're P.J. Fleck, I, I think you have to call timeout. Bazelak away from Joyner. Bazelak on the move and incomplete. Just to give the Falcons the lead off of the lower fills pick. And Anaya cashes it in. End up top side in the line of scrimmage. And then Taylor trying to run away from Howell. And that little burst through that hole. That was stopped up and he exploded for the first down. Just has great hesitation and just turns it on, breaks a tackle and gets them a first down, and they need him to be, like I said, a workhorse here in the second half. They want to win this game. The Gophers on him early. They kept him, holding off the late surge from the Big Ten rivals. Coming out of this, he's eight yards away. Darius Taylor in his return is two yards away from 100. And Taylor out of the game at running back, and this is the first carry for Jordan Newbin. They have multiple backs that can hit you big, and Newbin with an explosive run for a first down. Whole game, is he fifth on the depth chart at one point, running back, and now, and getting a great opportunity here in the quick. And you know it's going to number one. It sure is. Darius Taylor submarining, and he won't get there. He was stuck at the goal line. To try and fight in there to get into the end zone.
kind of a dangerous play if you ask me for Taylor. Tush push formation. Here comes the scrum, Kramer. Did he have enough on third down and goal? Boy, the officials coming from the side. The fiance of Cole Cramp, Katie Miller, looking on in celebration. One yard touchdown for her future husband. Obviously, we know about this brotherly shove, tush push, whatever you want to call it. It's become very popular in Kesich. Makes it a six point game. Well, you said it, partner. Get he gets all the penalty yards back. And so. His lack on third and 11. Joiner coming from the top side. His second time getting home today. Yeah, Jones comes on the inside and just kind of jumps on the pile. A little aggressive JOP there at the end by Jones. But really, it was Joiner who got it done. He was the running back. Here comes Quentin Redding breaking into open space, and he is clobbered out of bounds. Hello. Wilson strikes him out of bounds. Adrian Wilson with an absolute hammer on special teams. Woo! That sets chills up my spear. How about this? Nobody loves the Gophers more, according to P.J. Fleck, than Bo, their big center. On third down, Kramer to throw it. He hits the edge, and it's a touchdown. Jamison Gears in for six for Minnesota. Right now, and give them a, a two-score lead is just remarkable after the first half. Just threw 19 yards in the first half, but right there, the second touch. Well, moments that Cole Kramer grew up in the parks of Eden Prairie, Minnesota, dreaming of. Throwing spirals. Minnesota defense is just kind of smelling a little blood in the water. You know, they know that. Kramer, first play of this fourth quarter, incomplete. Daniel Jackson had a step on Ferguson. See number nine. And I don't think Bowling Green even expects him to take shots down the field. It's been all running here. So the tie lives on for P.J. Fleck on the Minnesota sideline. Kramer on third down, buzzes it across the middle, incomplete. Headed toward a big day on offense for Bowling Green when they went down on their first drive. Pay Sean Wimberly has elite speed, and he's into the second level, first down, and they just got a lightning bolt after Derek. And they're lucky that bright. So they survive it. And Bazelak escapes Joyner. And Patterson can't get out of the ankle tackle of Ferguson. By himself. And appears to be man coverage. But they're going to double him, actually. Bazelak ran into his own guy. Gets it away. And Odu Hilaire. Fannin. He's got the best arm on the team. And it's incomplete. A lot of contact. No call. Lindenberg, he may have ran into the end zone. I figured that was part of the excitement. He wasn't giving that up. Wimberly had the big hitter earlier around the edge. And a touchdown for Payshawn Wimberly. That speed was killer on that drive. And out in front and really just beats everybody with the speed to sort of walk into the end zone. And with the top two running backs out for the Falcons in this game, you were going, and Wimberly was the third back to come into the game, and all of a sudden, maybe you found something here in the fourth quarter. Number 30, I think he... Here comes Brockington. Lamecki Brockington, who came back from a broken leg late in the season, looks very, very healthy out across the... He didn't throw one pass in the second half because they were just gashing him on the ground. Yep. That's what the Gophers need to do here. Maybe Tori done that again today. Here's another one for Taylor seeking the end zone. Nobody can stop Darius Taylor. Welcome home, son. Wildcat. Great patience. A little bit of a hold there on the left side of the line. Didn't get called, but nonetheless, I don't know what that dance is, but 
He's it's a homecoming. It's... And after all of those yards, they finally. No Mac wins over a Big Ten squad this year. Not just not one yet. over. Not, not just one overtime. That was a that was a quadruple overtime night. And uh... long ride. Bazelak flutters it out of bounds. Incomplete. Bazelak. Bazelak at quarterback. But with a true play call on fourth down and two, Bazelak and Hilaire convert. And Strigo had pressure from the outside. So did Joyner. And Bazelak gets it away. The middle into Fannin, who holds on. Lindenberg got a piece of that. And Bazelak on second and ten. Protected again, and he throws a dart to Hilaire. The diving catch sets up first down and goal. I, I think you'd go for the onside kick. But you've got to score first. The final game for O.J. Hilaire of his college career. He's gone for a buck 50, and movement be the second time they got him. Say a second time. And you got an unbalanced look. Bazelak going to the quads and incomplete. And really good discipline by the Gopher. Second and goal for Bazelak. Bazelak, end zone, contact, and a flag. Coming across the middle, middle of your screen. Number That's five in coverage players. as well. Defense number five by rule of the ball replacement with an automatic first down. Bazelak fakes the run. Throws for Fannin. And he did not get a foot in. Trayvon Jones with great coverage for the Gophers. I think he just dropped the ball. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. the foot. He just dropped the ball. We're Bowling Green's trying to make it a one-score game on second and goal. Bazelak takes off. Bazelak turning for the goal line. Touchdown, Bowling Green. Football out. This may be a better look. He, the question is, was he on top of a golden gopher? That can this, bring this back. This would be a good look. Yeah, I think he, his his uh, backside, if you will, was. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I think his his behind is on top of. 93. To me, there's nothing definitive that says he has a knee down. I mean, you can see. Ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. And he can score another touchdown, then they could win it with a touchdown and an extra point. And here we go. Six point game. And Souter's onside kick is recovered by Minnesota. Thank you. She thought it was a pretty decent onside kick. And they stay rowing to bowl game success.